हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आवर टॉपिक इज टेपर मोटर प्रोग्रामिंग इन फेटिक पी एल सी इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल कवर फॉलोइंग टॉपिक फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट इज अ स्टेपर मोटर डिफरेंट बिटवीन स्टेपर मोटर एंड सेवर मोटर स्टेपर मोटर ड्राइवर माइक्रो स्टेप ड्राइवर टू डी एम एट सिक्सटी इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल यूज ड्राइवर नंबर टू डी एम एट सिक्सटी स्टेपर मोटर वाइंग बिटवीन PLC driver and motor. In last, we will do practical of the fatty PLC programming with stepper motor, including driver. Now, what is a stepper motor? Stepper motor is a special type of the DC motor that does not rotate continuously. Instead of the full rotation, is divided into a number of the equal steps. You can see the picture of the stepper motor. This is the external shape, and this is the internal manufacturing. And you can see here there are different stator poles and stator coils. A A B B A dash B dash. Okay, you can see there. And this is a motor casing. And this is a magnetic north and south rotator cup. when current will pass from this coil stator coil it will generate magnetic field and this is the coil b when coil b pass the current it also generate the magnetic field so this way this motor will move in step now question is what is the difference between stepper motor and servo motor both is working same for position control in our application stepper motor run in open control system it no feedback of the pressure in controller okay but in case of the servo motor it will run in closed control system it has a feedback of the position while in order to control so this is a main difference between the stepper motor and servo motor servo motor has a position feedback of by encoder but in case of the stepper motor it has no feedback of the position to controller now in this lecture we will use 2d m860 stepper motor driver it also called micro step driver and you can see there this is a connection strips and by this connection strip we will connect with plc position attraction enabling signal and this connection strip will be connect back to the motor a plus a minus b plus b minus is will connect with, with the stepper motor and this is the switches wiring no wiring you know there are two type of the wiring pnp and npn so in this slide i will tell you the basic of the wiring between fatty plc and driver and motor you can see here this is a fatty plc output y0 y1 y5 y0 will be generate pulses and i will connect it with pulse connect it strip okay and there are two point pulse plus and plus minus it will be according your wiring npn mpnp direction if i want to control the direction of the stepper motor fatty plc will give the signal in y1 and i will connect this wire with the direction point and this is our enabling of the stepper motor signal and this is the a plus a minus b plus b minus this is a connection between the motor and driver and this is a tip switch okay it is a current rating of the stepper motor uh, if you your specification according your stepper motor you have to select the dip switches and you can see the table current setting and micro step setting you will select the dip switches according your stepper motor specification now uh, no we will do the programming let's come in the winpro software fat plc programming
no i will make one input x0 and you can see the stepper input no i will go to a function you have to write one four zero this is a hspso this is a module or function of the high speed pulses we will use this module and there are three input ps sr wr so let's come on the lecture i will tell you about this points you can see there is a hspso high pulse generated module of the fat plc okay ps zero you can write there zero one two three any number if i will use zero it means y zero for pulses and y one for direction of the fat plc output if i will select one y zero y two for pulses y three for direction so same way two and three for y four y five y six y seven so i will use zero y zero y one outputs sr this is a starting resistor you have to put any data resistor here i have put r100 okay sr is a starting resistor for hspo internal programming wr is the writing resistor i put here r500 you have can put any data resistor but point to be noted Next seven register in series will be used internally by SSP PSO function. We cannot use in our programming. So like five zero one, five zero two, five zero three, four, five six, and five zero seven. We will not use this register in our programming any step. Okay, it will be used by internally SSP PSO function. No ACT. It will on. when your pulses will be transmitted by this module and this is the error output when any error come during the pulse transmission it will be on and this is the dn this is the done bit when your programming of the pulse is done then this will be on this is a pou is a pause and abort if you want to pause your programming you have you can give input this module your program will be stopped and this is a abort signal okay now come back to programming zero sorry zero you can see here zero y zero y1 as i told you in lecture R one hundred and R five hundred. Okay. I will use output memory M zero for error M one and for done M two. Okay. After it, you have to go this. icon this is a new table you have to set new table and give the table name i will use stepper motor okay as starting data is same as sr r 100 okay now this is a servo program taping we can we also use this table in stepper motor programming so you have to go to add icon speed by this point speed you will give the signal to the speed over stepper motor you can use their any data register or any numerical value if you want to control by hmi so you have to give the their some data register but i will use 5000 speed okay 
and this is a moment and this is a direction plus if i will put here negative it will move counterclockwise uh, it will move clockwise zero it will pulse generated input okay so let's come to the lecture How to find number of the pulses for stepper motor? One step non distance. Let's take an example. We want to cover 10 millimeter distance in our application with one step of the stepper motor. So let's do the calculation. In my case, there are one pulley is mounted in shaft of the stepper motor. A pulley radius, I know. So by using 2 pi r formula i will calculate the pitch of the stepper motor movement so after my calculation stepper one revolution distance is covered 50 millimeter in one revolution okay in one revolution step motor will cover 50 millimeter okay uh, motor specification equal to 0.9 degree per pulse this specification will be given in the name plate of the stepper motor so total pulse is for, for uh, per revolution you know in one revolution there are 360 degree so uh, equal is after divided by 9 it will do will be equal to 400 so in one 400 pulses our stepper motor will move 50 millimeter in one revolution so for one millimeter distance so i will divide 400 by 50 it will equal 8 so for 10 millimeter distance i will multiply 8 by 10 it equal to 80 pulses so come here i will put 80 it will cover 10 millimeter distance so ut we will use ps these are pulses and uh, wait time i will like put 10 seconds after 10 seconds it will be again repeated step by step and i will use and okay okay so this is the programming of the stepper motors completed so you can we will do practical let's come on the practical work